welcome to Poland Daily History with me, Nicholas Richardson. In the previous episodes, we started to discuss the life of Władysław Studnicki, a Polish publicist and politician who is famous for being one of the most outspoken proponents of an alliance between Poland and Nazi Germany before and during the Second World War. In this episode, we will discuss why his plans would have been detrimental to Poland if realized. There, was, there is, of course, this controversy that uh, the Polish government and Polish society in general absolutely uh, loathes any time they hear um, the phrase Polish de death camps. Uh, if uh, they would have uh, taken this trajectory that Studnicki um, argued for, then it's highly likely that uh, the Polish, um, any type of government that would have supported the Germans would have to be involved in the Holocaust. Uh, naturally um, being highly immoral and ruining uh, our nation's uh, reputation for <laughs> centuries to come. Of course. Uh, the second point which makes me also an opponent to his ideas is that uh, we can't forget that uh, even if Poland would have allied with Germany, uh, the Germans, they had their um, quest for Lebensraum in the east uh, and a part of it uh, General, General Plan Ost, uh, which, in which they envisioned how they would treat the Slavic population in these areas, uh, stipulated that uh, the Polish population in, on Polish territory would be limited. Uh, they planned to starve millions of people to death and have a very tiny uh, fragment of that population working for them as slaves. Uh, being allowed three years of elementary school to uh, um, add and subtract and, and do some uh, basic reading and writing, but nothing, nothing more than that. Uh, I don't believe that there could have been um, a scenario in which Poland would have gained from cooperating with, uh, no. with Nazi Germany. It, it is hard to say it. Um, mm. and it's the same, there's a similar argument, of course, in the United Kingdom that Hitler it seems clear, never expected to be at war with the United Kingdom. Yes. And thought said, oh, well, you can have your empire across the seas if you mm. leave us alone in, in, in Europe. But uh, that might have been attractive for about 35 mm -hmm. seconds. But the reality was, of course, Hitler was never going to stick to it. No, no. Because at each stage when people did try to say, OK, what do you want? He'd mm -hmm. say what he wanted, they gave him what he wanted, and he just wanted more next time. Yes, that was part so, of his character, of his strategy. So I suspect even an, an alliance with Poland, mm -hmm. even if it had been accepted by Hitler at, at one moment, mm -hmm would very quickly have disintegrated because, as you say, his wider concern mm -hmm. about how the Nazis saw the future of Europe, assuming they'd, they'd won, of course, and their plans for this part of the, of the continent were just incompatible with any suggestion of a viable Polish state. I fully agree. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think Sednitsky was wrong from, from day one. Uh, and uh, if we would have followed the path that he wanted, uh, I think it would have tarnished our reputation for centuries to come. And uh, I think we would have suffered even larger uh, material and human losses during the war than, than we did. Yes. I mean, it is one thing that you said, yeah, what an interesting idea. But then when you look at it, there was no way of actually having any sensible alliance with Hitler. Yeah. Um, something Franco saw, of course, and mm -hmm. kept Spain out. Um, and the Italians. Very wisely. <laughs> and, the, and the Italians turned out to be actually a more of a liability to Hitler than a decent ally, I think. Uh, but an interesting idea. Mm. And I think the, the, the key, one of the key points which comes across that is in his own historical analysis and how he saw certain things happening in the future. He was absolutely spot on. Yes. Um, and yet reached the wrong conclusion. And reached the wrong conclusions. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, the, this is always the problem with experts. Mm -hmm. With hindsight, we think oh, it's easy, but you know, having yeah. done the working and having got the mm -hmm. <laughs> the right result, yeah. he he drew the wrong conclusion. Mm -hmm. But that's a fascinating, a fascinating, slightly different because mm -hmm. we don't hear in Polish no. history, obviously, at that time of many people advocating mm -hmm. a closer relationship with Germany. Yeah, we, he was we, probably the most prominent voice uh, arguing that uh, course of action. And and of course, mm -hmm. the other point of it, it was never going to work because Hitler's view of Slavic peoples generally. Mm -hmm was very different. Yes. His, um, the people that uh, state that he was actually right, they usually point to Croatia, but look at Croatia. Uh, they were treated fairly. Uh, they, they, uh, they didn't suffer from German hands, but uh, it was a quite different, uh, different place, um, different uh, situation. 
uh, the Germans weren't really looking for Lebensraum well, that, down in the uh, Balkans. Uh, this is the point, this mm. overarching policy, which even today, in a funny sort of way, this German obsession with this part of the, uh, this part of the continent of Europe. Yes. The, it, nothing has really... Ch and the relationship with Russia. And the relationship which mm. we see, I mean, bringing history, which I enjoy history so much, bringing it all the way up to the, the present time. Mm. Nord Stream 2. Exactly. A, a, a German-Russian um, project. Mm -hmm which many people, including Poland, including the United States of America, regard as not being in the best interests of European energy security or European security full stop, and still neither Russia nor, nor Germany is deterred. And the German political elite uh, mentioned specifically that uh, we owe them a debt after what we did during the Second World that War. Was a remarkable, mm. That was a remarkable statement by the president of Germany. Yes. I, um, unbelievable. And also saying that uh, this is one of the last bridges that could connect Germany and, uh, and Russia. And uh, whenever Poles hear anything about building bridges uh, between those two states and uh, forming this larger continental uh, relationship between the two, um, let's just say that we get very uh, suspicious and wary. Well, yeah, absolutely. But that's been fascinating. Thank you. Thank you. So there we have it. Studnitsky, a very interesting character, uh, unusual for this part of the world as we, as we saw to be contemplating an alliance with Germany. He got the history correct, but his conclusions were probably wrong. Thank goodness. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. So do join us again next time on Poland Daily History, and thank you for watching.